Hey guys, uh, Mr. Peach here with a last uh, second announcement along with uh, Ryan and Mason and Carson and Myrna and Patagonia Parker. Listen up. Uh, the football game for Friday has been moved to tomorrow, Thursday, 7 p.m. here at the Mel Brown Athletic Complex LZD Patton Stadium. Golden Bears varsity football team versus station camp, 7 p.m. Thursday, tomorrow night, not Friday. Show up. <laughs>back to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Derek. And I'm Jason and today is October 23rd. Now, now for news. news. Which one's saying it? You? Just, okay. Gonna... MJ's own music master Sherry Grossman was just named as a semi-finalist for the Grammy Music Ed Educator Award each year. Uh, each year <laughs> one recipient is selected from 10 finalists and recognized for the remarkable impact on students' lives. The seventh annual honoree will be flown to Los Angeles to attend the 62nd annual Grammy Awards and a range of Grammy Week events. The nine additional finalists will receive a $1,000 prize, and the schools of the 10 finalists will receive matching grants. The remaining 15 finalists will receive a $500 prize with matching school grants. Finalists will be announced in December. The ACT Senior Retake is October 29th. Seniors need to report to their assigned classrooms at 815. Bring two number two pencils, an improved calculator, and a snack to eat during the break. Seniors may, leave after, seniors may leave the school after the test, but make sure you bring a note. You, are, you will turn your note into your test administrator when you check in at your testing room. Do not be late. The MJHS competition cheer team made their debut this weekend at Middle Tennessee Cheer Classics at Blackman High School. They placed third in the medium varsity division. Spirit, Spirit director Tiffany McNeese is proud of their performance. Unplugged Gamers meets today at 3.30 in room B142. Young Republicans will not be meeting today. Bridge Math Tutoring is today at 3.30 in room B124. Literary Alliance meets today at 3.30 in, room in the library. Uh, I drive a 2014 Subaru BRZ manual. It costed about $17,000, but I am doing a monthly payment, so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, it handles really well. I got lowering springs in them, so um, it's very flat when I take my corners, so that's really nice, so I don't fall into a ditch. So I just feel that manual, it's a lot cooler, but it's also really cool that how uh, you can connect to your car by driving manual. So if you want to go fast, you can just do a downshift, and then it'll make you go faster. Top speed, I think it can go up to like 150. It is a slow car, it's only 200 horsepower, but it can still get up there, so. I did, um, before searching that car, I was getting pretty desperate. So I thought about getting a G35 or a G37, or um, maybe just like an Accord, but like I really wanted the BRZ. The bowling team is rolling right along this season. Last Monday, both the boys and the girls defeated Beach. The top scores were Blake Davis with 235 for the boys and Sky Wilson with 204 for the girls. Both MJ teams defeated Portland last Tuesday. Blake Davis and Jenna Hayes were the top scorers for that game. And last Thursday, both the boys and the girls lost to Lebanon High School. The MJ bowling teams will compete against Beach tomorrow. All classes need to make sure to join their uh, graduation year Google Classroom and Remind accounts. Lots of important and time-sensitive information is communicated through Google Classroom and Remind, such as assignments, surveys, class t-shirt orders, and more.
Friday, mo this Friday morning, October 25th, will be Mount Juliet High School's first ever senior sunrise. All seniors are welcome to go to the football game, well, football stadium, anytime from 6.30 to 8 to eat free breakfast, participate in tailgating activities, and watch the sunrise together over the football field. Sunrise is expected to be around 6.50. Seniors are welcome to wear pajamas to this event and have permission to wear them throughout the school day. Maybe It may be chilly, so make sure to dress warm and be ready for an early start to the day. GSA meets today after school in B109. Literary Alliance will meet again tomorrow morning at 7.45. Love Choir will rehearse today at 3.40 in the choir room. The hockey team plays tonight at Centennial Sportsplex at 8.15. Uh, Science National Honor Society meets tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. in C-122.